All right, so we all want to see how it's done. Pulled out the two screws. This little plate comes off. This one's extra nice. You got both RAM slots there and the hard drive. Easy to get to. I like it. All right, so the new RAM stick here. Slide it in carefully. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Slide it down. Clipped in securely. Check it. Make sure it's all in aligned. All right, and then we take out these four screws that are holding the three, holding the hard drive in. We're going to slide that out. All right, all the screws are out. This one stays out. That's actually a screw that goes in with the lid, so you don't put that one in there. Slide it back, pull them out. There we go, we have the drive right there. Now we're gonna have to copy all their data over because they wanted it to stay the way it was. So I can either take it out of this holder so that I can fit it in my dock, or I can simply use my USB cable and that way I can just plug it in without taking it out of this enclosure. All right, so I got one in the dock, one hooked up. I pull up my clone software here. I'm going to be cloning their hard drive onto the new one. Uh, I'm going to have to go repartition it first. To do that, I pull up the disk manager tool that I have, go into extras, get disks, it'll list all the hard drives. I know it's going to be disk number three, the one that's uh, almost a terabyte. I'm going to convert it to, actually I'm going to clean it, just erase it. Yes, I want to erase it. I'm going to convert it to GPT. Converted. There we go. So now I refresh my tool here. Go back to clone, clone. There you go. It's GPT, just like the other drive. So I'm going to go from their drive. I'm going to go on to the new drive. Yes, I'm going to tell it it is an SSD. And any extra space, make sure it's spread out evenly across partitions. Good. And then you just start the clone. So now all their data is going to be copied from their old drive onto the new one. And then I do leave their files on their drive. It's up to them if they want to wipe it. But right now they have an identical backup and they can choose what they want to do with it. So now if anything happens with this SSD, some people might say it's a cheap one. Well, they have an exact backup. It's up to them. That's what they asked for. So we'll just let that copy. This will take about uh, maybe 20 minutes or so. Uh, I think there's almost 700 gigs. It's almost full. Uh, so we'll wait for that and we'll come back. There we go, about 27 minutes. All right, now that's done, we hit finish here. Uh, we unplug their original drive. Now there's one last thing we have to do. We have to fix their boot partition because it's a new drive. Uh, we're gonna choose their OS drive, which is uh, J. We're gonna find the FAT32 right after that, which is volume 10. We're gonna choose a random letter. Now we're gonna hit fix the boot. It's gonna fix that boot partition and we can install it and it should work. Boot has been repaired. New drive is slid in. RAM is in, put the cover back on, powering it up. While we do that, we're going to put their drive inside the enclosure. And it's booting, and it's in the enclosure. 